Hi there. Uh, is recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome really possible? It's a question we may all have asked ourselves at some point. And um, I think uh, the simplest answer, um, certainly I would say yes, definitely. Um, but I think recovery rates are probably different for different people. Um, I know I've heard about people who have had chronic fatigue for maybe a couple of years and recovered completely. And as far as I know, I think that the, the longer you've had chronic fatigue, probably the more difficult or maybe the longer it takes to recover. And I'm speaking as a person who has had this for around 22 years. Um, but having said that, I believe myself to be 90% recovered, which means that most days are really good these days, but I still have to be careful. And if I um, do anything, uh, a little bit more than uh, my body needs, let's put it that way, um, I can have a sort of mini crash, uh, like yesterday when I did the vacuuming. <laughs> and uh, I was pretty fatigued for uh, that afternoon. But because I know how to deal with that um, and looking after myself, um, today I feel pretty good little bit of achiness here and there but that's about it um and i know that uh well 20 years ago 10 years ago even five years ago um a crash like that would have lasted for several days and been pretty devastating so you know being up front here I can't say that I am completely fully recovered. I still believe that is possible, but I think because uh, I've had the this for quite a long time, my recovery is just on a on a slow tra trajectory, and it's not always a steady one. It you know it can go up and down. And uh, when I had um, COVID uh, in the uh, in twenty twenty before there was testing. So I can't say it was definitely COVID, but I believe it was. Um, my chronic fatigue syndrome did uh, suffer from that a bit. I went a bit downhill for a while, but I am more or less back to where I was then. So that is my story. And um, so I, you know, I want to, put this out there that um, recovery is definitely possible, but it's up and down, you know, you can't expect it to go in a straight line. Um, and depending on uh, how long you've had it, uh, that can be a factor too. But what I will say is what the main thing that is needed in order to recover from chronic fatigue syndrome is a complete overhaul um, of lifestyle. You need to look at various um, things of what you're doing, how you're treating yourself. Um, because recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome, there's no magic bullet. Um, it's, uh, you need to take a holistic approach. You need to look at everything in your life. And that not only includes diet and exercise, getting fresh air, staying hydrated and all those physical things, but it's, it's looking at your mental attitude and, um, your, you know, your, your lifestyle, how you approach life, all those things can be looked at. And unfortunately, uh, I see, you know, on I've looked at uh, forums and Facebook groups and I do see um, people with chronic fatigue syndrome um, in this sort of very negative um, victim kind of mode uh, where they don't believe that recovery is possible and they actually get quite angry 
uh, when anybody suggests that, that they have to, ch because they don't want to think that they have to change their life in any way in order to get better. And that seems to me really sad because in actual fact, when people do um, look at all these things, all of these different areas of their life and, and change certain things and create a better balance, they actually create a better life, a better um, existence and uh, a greater sense of peace and fulfilment that they may even have had before they had chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there today um, for any of you who are struggling with this. Um, yes, recovery is possible, but you need to change the, um, the attitude towards recovery. You have to believe that you can recover and you have to actually take action and do the things necessary. Um, do take a look at my course on Udemy. Um, it's, uh, it takes you through all the different uh, approaches that you need to take. Some of them you may not need to do and others um, certainly may need looking at. So have a look at that and please ask any questions and please subscribe for more updates. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers for now. Bye.